Today, I did absolutely nothing. Well, actually, I did go grocery shopping with the help of a friend. Today is day 41, and this is my daily update after having a vitrectomy on my right eye. What can I tell you? I have been so exhausted from um, returning to work after working for, you know, five days. I did have a break in between, but the weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, I work um, because the news, it never ends. There's always something going on. And so that is my life. That is the career that I chose. And exciting it is, there's always new things happening. But on the flip side, looking at the computer and editing the stories one after another uh, for all the different shows so that you can see what's going on in the world. Um, it was a little taxing. I, I would say it was more than a little taxing because by the end of my week, my work week, I was I was just completely exhausted, which I talked about yesterday. And so today I gave myself permission to do pretty much nothing at all. Um, I actually slept in a lot longer. Um, I watched a little, some, some uh, meditational uh, videos. I did meditate today. I try to meditate every day, uh, but I've been trying some other energy work to really um, work on clearing blockages, blockages that, um, that I left <laughs> undone. Um, just trying to just really make myself, in the words of a dear friend, light as a feather. Um, so I've been doing that and I, although I did need to go grocery shopping, a friend of mine said, why didn't you tell me you needed to go grocery shopping? I'll come over and take you there because I can't really drive right now. And I've been walking to the grocery store and just carrying just small bags because I'm not supposed to carry over 25 pounds. And although it's good um, exercise and everything, but you know, some stuff is a little bit heavier than that. So I had to be mindful of that. So I did that and then came back home and, and then got invited for dinner. <laughs> so I just got back in and I'm relaxing. I'm going to um, practice on, you know, uh, not practice, but um, just let myself go and play my Gouda still drum for a little bit. There it is. It's really, really relaxing for me. And Richard likes it too, because right now he's sitting next to me. But I just wanted to check in and tell you, implore to you how important it is to show yourself love as much as possible. So after I finish doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bath and I'm going to put some Himalayan salt crystals, uh, sea salt in the bath water. And I am just going to relax and cleanse myself. And when I say cleanse myself, meaning, you know, just negative energy, um, just really lighten everything that I feel, the weight of uh, wanting to to heal and thank you Richard the weight of wanting to heal and not healing fast enough and the pressure that I was putting on myself and have been putting on myself I have to I, I, I feel myself saying be in a state of allowing the process to happen in its nat natural way and that's what I'm trying to do. And I just wanted to share that with you because there are going to be those days when you just need to not do anything and know that that is okay. Um, so that's pretty much what I have to say today. Um, I'm glad you tuned in. Um, 
I am, I feel really, really blessed to have this platform to reach out to you and share my journey. And if you have any thoughts on what I've said today, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below and or just say hi. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And until the next time, I want to wish you love, light, and most of all, joy.